Um, for those of you who are close with us, my sister and I, or maybe not, you will know that in some ways, my sister and I are very much alike. From our love for dogs, for our love for donuts, we have some very similar qualities, but in other ways, we are very different. I can be decisive to a fault at times, while my sister sometimes has difficulty making decisions. While that may drive me nuts, one thing that she has always been sure on is Ian. Ian, she has always wanted to be your wife. Remember that in the easy times and the hard times, it will get you through so much. I've had the pleasure of watching you grow together over the past nine years, and I'm so proud of where you are going together. Please join me in raising a glass to the future Uncle Ian and Auntie Maggie. Cheers to the Malinowskis. Today we are gathered here to celebrate the love you have discovered in each other, how it has grown over the years, and to support the next steps you are about to make. Everyone here has been a major component of their journey to this point, both personal and as a pair, watching and guiding Ian and Maggie as they grew, changed, and become who they are now. They look eagerly towards the future where their loved ones will continue to influence and most importantly, support the commitment they're about to make. I've never seen a more beautiful bride and groom. And I must say that the emotions range from tears to kind of jumps for joy in one's heart. I couldn't be more delighted to bring the ancient tradition of reading from the scriptures into the ceremony. When the Apostle Paul wrote this to the first Corinthians, he started out by saying, there are different kinds of gifts but the same spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but the same God works all of them in all men. The body, he continues, is a unit. Though it is made up of many parts, and though all its parts are many, they form one body. God has arranged all the parts in this body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. There are many of us gathered together, but we have one thought in our minds and our hearts, that of blessing this young couple. Ian and Maggie, it is now time to put a ring on it and share your vows. The bride and groom will now exchange a few words they've written. When we first met, I would never have guessed that this is where we would end up. It wasn't until five or six months into the relationship that I realized you would be by my side for the rest of my life. I know you get mad when I don't plan ahead and sometimes fly by the seat of my pants, but that's because I never needed to make plans with you. They all seem to be hard to be in place. We just need to read the signs to get to our next destination. I promise to always stand by your side and never let you down, tell you the truth even if you don't want to hear it, and always let you talk me into getting another dog. <laughs> so grab your spoon because you have an ice cream partner for life now. Ian, I vow to love you unconditionally for the good times and the hard. I promise to be your personal cheerleader when things seem to not go your way, to encourage you to do all things you set your mind to. I vow to be faithful and honest with you, to laugh even when your dad jokes aren't that funny, 
I promise to put our marriage before our else. I vow to honor you and be the best wife that I can possibly be. Did you think nine and a half years ago when we met at 16, we would be standing here today? You remember that New Year's Day? We were up North Cribbits hiking by the river. We were in the midst of what I think was probably our first argument. You grabbed my hand and said, what is it? As if you knew what I was about to say. At that moment, the words, I love you, came pouring out of my mouth. However, my heart rate soon slowed down after hearing the relieving words of, I love you too. As we got uh, started hanging out with Maggie, we started doing a lot of things as hiking, camping. She learned how to ride a bike for me in. Uh, we were at Tom's cabin for New Year's, and it was actually probably one of the coolest things to see them ride alongside each other. It was one of the special moments I had, actually. Ian and Maggie, I'm happy to call you my friends. I'm very happy you found each other. And toast these two lovebirds. Maggie without Ian, but I have seen their relationship grow. There couldn't be a more perfect person for each of them. And we all look forward to sh sharing special moments with Maggie and Ian in the future. And hopefully sometime there will be some grandkids in the picture. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and the state of Wisconsin, I am happy to pronounce you husband and wife, Ian, make his bride. <laughs>